Welcome friends, welcome back to After Dark. And today we're going to make a Prohibition era cocktail called the Bee's Knees, and it features honey and gin. Now there's a lot of stories around this cocktail. Um, most of them say that the flavor profile was designed in order to hide the flavor of bathtub gin that was available at the time. And other stories say that um, it was actually developed in Europe, and the recipe that we're doing today is from a 1929 Parisian cocktail book, and it makes a very tiny, tiny, tiny little cocktail. Only makes an ounce worth of cocktail, and that's why we're using such a small cocktail glass. And so th the other story is that the wealthy socialites would go to Paris and Europe in order to party and have a good time, and the unsinkable Molly Brown um, is linked to this cocktail. Apparently it was her favorite tipple and it was made specifically for her. Who knows? Um, so I've got honey and freshly squeezed lemon juice um, in the cup. And you want to give this a really good stir in order to dissolve that honey in the lemon juice. So the next ingredient is gin. Now the original recipe says to use Gordon's dry gin. I'm not a fan of Gordon's dry gin. I looked at all of the gins that I have here, and I think the one that is going to pair best with this combination of flavors is this Victoria gin. So, two thirds of an ounce of Victoria dry gin into the tin. This is a shaking cocktail, so ice. and shake. Okay. Empty the ice out of our glass. And this gets a double strain. And so there you have it, the 1929 version of Bee's Knees. Now the recipe lists no garnish for this cocktail. Let's give it a try. Oh, wonderful. That is wonderful. Um, the play between the honey and the sour from the lemon juice with that overtone from the gin is really nice. And again, playing with the gin and the honey could bring a completely different flavor profile to this. Um, I've seen a lot of recipes that specify very specific types of honey, either orange blossom honey, or I've seen one that said a honey from a specific apiary was the only way you could make this cocktail. Uh, I don't know about that, but this does deserve a really nice, nice honey. Mm-hmm. I like that. So I could drink that every once in a while. And I do think for this cocktail, for me, this is the perfect size. It's just something that you have a little bit of a taste of, you have one of, and then you move on to something else. That's just me. Maybe you could drink it all night. I think it's wonderful, but I think having two or three would ruin it for me. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.